It didn't used to matter nearly so much whether people could recognize a stroke or not, because if it happened, there wasn't that much that we could do. But now there's a new drug called TPA, Tissue Plasminogen Activator. It's a clot buster. And uh, if it's a, a clot type of stroke, which four out of five are, uh, you've got a real chance of reversing a lot of the damage, sometimes all of it, with that drug. Now, <clears throat> again, you could debate whether it's you got an hour or three hours, but the thing is, we have to recognize it first. Unfortunately, less than half of Americans know how to appropriately recognize a stroke. Now, sure, 90, uh, and the CDC has done studies on this because it's a critical thing now. 93% of us know that inability to move or feel on one side of our body is clearly a sign of stroke. But quite often, and, and in fact, uh, more often, stroke first presents as inability to talk or confusion. Again, only 38% of people know that. You need to uh, be able to recognize that to help avoid tragedy because that tragedy could happen in your family. Here's a, a video with a story about that. It's from the National Institutes of, of uh, uh, Neurologic Disease. The and he sat down in the chair and he kept staring at me and I thought he was fooling around with me at first. And I said to him, this is not funny, Robert. I could not speak. Uh, I, all I knew, she was my wife and I reached over and took her hand and I couldn't remember the names of my grandchildren or my, or my daughters. Uh, it was co a complete blank. And I said to him, you're having a stroke. Stay here. I'm calling the ambulance. So that was Alma Stanley, and she got her husband to the, uh, to the hospital within, within about 25 minutes. We'll see a clip a little bit later. He's in great shape now. So now when you see these uh, public service announcements about how to recognize stroke, that's why face, arms, uh, speech, speech is a key one. So when people have problems in these areas, focus on time, getting them to the hospital. Now, <clears throat> in fact, I'll provide you some other information below. This is a link on an article from the American Heart Association, the, uh, the magazine called Stroke. It's uh, about TPA, tissue plasminogen uh, activator. But just wanted to make one other comment. This whole focus has created a major program called Telestroke, Telemedicine for Stroke. That actually put, uh, Telestroke actually helped put telemedicine on the map. When it first came out, I was involved in doing some urgent care activities with them and helping to move that forward. We got a lot of pushback. People said, well, there's maybe not good quality there. No way. It was real clear. Uh, in the, especially in the telestroke tele area, that we were saving lives and the quality of lives with telestroke. Uh, the CDC has gone on to do, uh, again, this is an article on that uh, telemedicine in stroke magazine. Um, this is some information from the CDC about how they're uh, developing telemedicine for stroke. Uh, here's, this is a... Um, a series of, uh, of articles, tons and tons of articles about the issue. And uh, again, why? Because this is important. Stroke is, uh, if you haven't heard, let's go through some quick facts. One out of uh, 20 deaths, 140,000 um, Americans die each year from stroke. Every 40 seconds, someone has a stroke. Every four minutes, somebody dies of a stroke. Every year, uh, almost 800,000 people in the U.S. have a stroke. Uh, most of those are first-time strokes. About one in four has had a previous stroke. 87%, as I said, I said four out of five, it's actually more like nine out of ten of these strokes are clot strokes, which would respond to TPA. Stroke cost is huge, $34 billion a year, and it's the, the number one cause of serious long-term disability. Remember I said I was going to show you a clip of uh, Alma Stanley's husband. 
Let's go back and do that. I could not speak. Uh, all I knew, she was my wife, and I reached over and took her hand, and I couldn't remember the names of my grandchildren or my, or my daughters. Uh, it was co a complete blank. And I said to him, you're having a stroke. Stay here. I'm calling the ambulance. The next clips will cover the importance of recognizing a stroke and uh, end up the story on Alma Stanley and her, her husband someone has a stroke, brain cells in the immediate area begin to die because they stop getting the oxygen and nutrients they need. Somehow we have to get the hopeful message out that there is something you can do. It's not hopeless. And I think four or five years ago that was pretty much true. But now it's changed vastly. And the change is that now you can do something. In the past, people often struggle to live with serious disabilities after a stroke but they don't have to accept those limitations now. Today, people have a much better chance for a complete recovery. Effective treatment is available for strokes caused by a blood clot, and that's about 80% of all strokes. He made it to the hospital, I would say, in probably 25 minutes from when he left here, and six days later, he walked out of the hospital. And I think that's a miracle. I really do. We've been able to develop so again, a very important message. In the past, it used to not matter as much. Now it matters immensely. Be able to recognize the, uh, the signs of stroke. And the ones that people tend to miss are um, not so much weakness on one side, but speech, inability to speak, or even just confusion often are the first signs of a stroke. If you've made it this far, as usual, thank you very much for your interest.